Little Mermaid. Here's the alleged controversy. Under the sea. Unfortunately, this does feel like a forced controversy. Like, there were some people. There's always crazies that are mad. And then it became like, I can't believe people on the right are mad about this. And then, unfortunately, other people jumped in and started, like, defending, okay, let's defend this idea that people are mad. Why would they be mad about it? I, I don't – listen, I'm sorry. I don't think it matters uh, whether or not a fictional character is a different skin color. Yeah. I, I really don't. I mean, I, sponge, I don't care. SpongeBob is a sponge. <laughs> it's, it's, and he's yellow. Well, let's uh, – <laughs> speaking of that – on that <laughs> idea – we can hear what Matt Walsh had to say before we get into our deeper con because he kind of alludes to some of the stuff that we want to say. A lot of videos today. But what I cannot abide by is the double standard thing where we say, well, race, the race, the casting, uh, the race of in, in casting matters only for certain races and not for others. That, that, no, no, we're not doing that. Also, by the way, with The Little Mermaid, can, can we also just mention that just from, from, a, from a scientific perspective, Okay, it doesn't make a lot of sense to have someone with darker skin who lives deep in the ocean. I mean, if anything, I mean, not only should the Little Mermaid be pale, she should actually be translucent. If you look at deep sea creatures, they're like translucent. They have no kind of pigmentation whatsoever. And they're just like these horrifying, they look like skeletons floating around in the ocean. That's what the Little Mermaid should look like. She should be totally pale where, and skeletal where you can see her skull through her face. And that would actually be a version of Little Mermaid that I would watch. <laughs> okay. And then that's when you start the, to go a little far with the idea. She here. came out of the Jeez. ocean and got legs. The version that he they, will watch. They swam up to the is surface. The, the version he will watch is the scientific version, whereas the half human, half fish that lives under the sea and talks to all the different animals and down sings there. sings beautifully. Those has a beautiful singing voice. Yeah. Where that version has translucent, yeah. uh, skeletal, terrifying skin. Yeah. At least you're keeping it science at that yeah. time yeah. when you're when you're dealing with a half her, fish, half person. Her evil um, person is a half octopus, half uh, purple um, Ursula. Yeah. I mean, yeah. And her father uh, has a trident, <laughs> and he's of course half man. Yeah. Half. Merman, mm -hmm. and uh, and you know he rules a, a group of other mermaids. Is and he mermaids. a half mer they in this in this yeah. version of it? Now here, what my th thing here's. Let Go me ahead. give you my perspective. I don't care. Yeah, I don't give a shit. I think this is they're doing exactly what they want to do, which is stir up controversy for no reason whatsoever. And you're you're letting them win by giving in to this. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a cartoon. This is a it's, live action version of it, but yeah. It doesn't matter. Like, at the end of the day, it's a fictional story. Now, Nate and I talked about this a little bit this morning. Um, I don't care really about anything that is considered to be made up stories. Yeah. At well, all. Look, before we get into that, because I do have some stuff to show on that, I do want to say, and we both kind of agree on this. There's a really good book, anyone who's ever interested in business or marketing or just getting out to people that everyone should read, really good book uh, called Story Brand Marketing. I can't remember the author on that. Donald Miller. Donald Miller. Really good book. And um, he talks about the fact that when you watch a movie or whatever it is, people want to see themselves as the hero or as the main character. And when it comes to that, I would just say – a lot of these little made-up controversies, I completely understand why you would want to have a character that is not just white, okay? I, I get it. I think that people want to see themselves, and it's easier when you see someone who's like the same skin color as you to whenever you're making yourself the hero in that story. I also think that that idea is why... Uh, you could say, well, white people don't want to go watch stuff where the, there's a black lead and the, which I don't, I don't think is, is true. Really. I'm sure it is for some people. Sure. It is for some people. Uh, but that it's for the same reason. It doesn't speak to you quite as much because when you see a movie, you want to see yourself living out that main character. Maybe not always, maybe not when you watch like a psychopathic, like killer movie, something like that, but maybe you do. I don't know. We'll mm -hmm. talk about that later. And so when it comes to this, you have to admit that that is important. I do, I do understand that that's important. But everyone else also has to understand that that is important. And especially when you have like, okay, most of the people in the country as a group 
are white. And so if you're going to market a movie and people want to see themselves as the character, you might be able to make more money if the lead person is white than, than if they're not. Just, you know, it's a difficult conversation. But that's also important to other people when they go watch it. You want to see yourself as the hero. That's, that's what all of these stories are. Where I have an issue with it, where Charlie and I kind of disagree on, I guess. This is a fictional, made-up character, not a real person. This is not a historical event, okay? And also, it's none of it's scientific. It's fantasy. This is a half it's very fish, dark. half person. Yeah. You know, and we know that someone like that would not be able to sing that great. All right? Yeah. So it's not possible. So I have an issue when they do it with real people, like real historical events that are then depicted on the screen afterwards. And I there's a couple instances that I know of specifically that I found out about later. I brought this one up before. This is the kind of thing, like if you're going to be worried about people wokeifying stuff, like they're they're woking something. I don't think casting a black actor is woking something. I don't I don't I, get that. Yeah. To, to me the woking something is when you take a real life person from a true story and then you inject one of these woke things or whatever. For instance, in the TV show Mindhunter, which is on Netflix, uh, there is this female uh, detective or she's like a doctor of psychology, something like that. And she's helping them catch these killers or coming up with this idea. Basically, this is when they started creating these uh, profiles of the serial killers so they could try and find people, all of that. Well, she's a real important part to the story. In the TV show, uh, she happens to be gay and going, you know, going through some relationships it's a pretty kind of a bigger part of the story towards the end of it. She's also dealing with discrimination in the workplace, other FBI agents that are treating her really poorly because she's gay. And so I just watched the show and I was like, oh, that's too bad. I hate that, you know. Then I find out later on reading, okay, the actual person that she's depicting is still married to the same guy that she was married to when this whole thing actually took place. And so now I ask myself, why did they take someone's actual story and inject this story into it? Was there, she, there's a motive. I mean, she could still be married. Was she gay during that time? I don't know if she was gay. I mean, maybe she was running around on her husband with other women. It's possible. It's possible. You know? Anything's possible. That's one. The other one. My thing is, let me just respond to that real yeah. quick. I still don't care. I, I still I still will I, make the case that you would care if it were a movie made about the biggest thing that you ever did in your entire life. And they decide the best thing, the thing that made you feel so good about yourself. And finally, you got a movie made about it. And they decided to inject a storyline that uh, me and you were banging each other the whole time. And it was causing all kinds of problems in your life. Mm. You know, I think you would be like, why did they do that? Yeah. You know, why? Why do that? Why not just tell the story? Yeah. yeah, it gets more viewers. <laughs> it checks some boxes. It checks some boxes. Is what it does, and it yeah, it checks some boxes, <laughs> and and it's, yeah, the the incentive is to make more money to create controversy. Another box I noticed that was checked is in this TV show called Doctor Death, which I recommend everyone go and watch if you haven't seen it on Peacock. It does have Alec Baldwin. He doesn't kill anyone in it. Actually, he's probably saved some people. Um, it's got Christian Slater, uh, Joshua Jackson in it. Uh, in the story, it's about a um, a surgeon who performs, I think, 36 surgeries, 34 of them. It's a true story. happened like 10 years ago in Texas. 34 of them ended up with people either being like paralyzed, maimed, or a couple of them ended up being dead. He had like two surgeries that went well. He was terrible. He didn't know what he was doing or he was doing it on purpose, but I think he was just terrible. Anyway, <clears throat> what happened? He works at the VA now. <laughs> <laughs> He's in prison. Oh, so. Okay. Yeah, he's the first, uh, I think he was the first doctor to ever be prosecuted for uh, surgeries that went wrong, basically. Mm. Um, anyway, in this story, there's a nurse. Now, the nurses are the highest of the victimhood hierarchy at a hospital. They're basically the slaves of the hospital. Okay, uh, so you've got to, there may be some other people. lower, like CNAs, <laughs> yeah. the nursing assistants. As far as or techs, society, think about it. COVID, think about there's a 15,000 nurse strike that just was happening last week up north somewhere. I can't remember where it was. Like it's in those, Minnesota. They're the victims of the, of the hospital. So in this story, in the real life story, it was a lowly nurse who had no authority whatsoever at the hospital who ended up speaking up and then getting a hold of these, uh, talking with these other doctors and testifying. It was basically this one person who spoke truth to power 
this corrupt healthcare system that was profit driven, this terrible narcissistic doctor, and this lowly person with no authority, the lowest on the totem pole, is the one who helped put an end to the entire thing. And this is the guy. They, this, they got a black guy playing him. The problem is that in real life, that just happened 10 years ago, the actual nurse is white. Now, maybe this guy doesn't care. My question is why? You look at the side-by-side -side pictures of everyone else in the TV show, and they did a pretty good job picking every single other person except for who is the moral compass of the TV show that stops this thing from happening. And they picked a black guy to play him. I still don't care. I would care if I, I were that guy, like someone's depicting me in the TV show and I saved how many people's lives. Maybe during auditions, he was <clears> the <throat> best fit. Now, I know there could be malicious reasons you think, for you, doing it. Do you, why, do you th why do you think they did it, Charlie? Let's not talk about what the best possible reason is that they did it. Why do you think they yeah, did that? I just don't know if I want to spend my energy on that when, when like, people are, like, taxation is still theft. <laughs> it like, is. I, I'm not saying that I completely agree with the decisions that they've made on casting folks uh, that are not uh, depicting the, the real, uh, uh, I guess, person that played it. Now, I do care more in a documentary. Like if you say this is a factual video, like this is a, f this actually happened. These are real people. We've interviewed the actual person, but anything that says, uh, this is based on a true story, but drama was added for effect or whatever. Then it's like, that's just what it is. It's yeah. drama. It's drama. Why? Like, I, I just are we got a video we have to play before your heart stop. I just don't but... care that much. Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's just my opinion. You don't have I to mean, care. Yeah, it's just my opinion. You know, you're free care. to be wrong as often as you want, Charlie. Yeah. That has always been allowed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the over the, my theme of this dumb bleep, by the way, this is... This really bothers you that if, I don't agree with you 100%. No, I just have to clarify. My mm -hmm. theme, this has nothing to do with what you said. My theme is if you are going to decide that you're going to be upset about who they cast in movie roles, then at least pick the ones that are representing real life people in a true story. Not the little mermaid. Not the little mermaid. Yes. That is the entire point the I was trying bleep, to get to. The dumb bleep are people yes. who, who are mad about little mermaid being black. 